Shalom, given all praise to you, how much you are, Shalom, to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there, Shalom to you all. <coughs> I'm going to entitle this video, it's uh, pointless to, the, to debate with these people, and the key word is seed. Anyway, this is a debate, I just caught a little, this, round about this part, what is this, two, two and a half hour video on Sarnetta Studios and uh, this is the one hour 16 minute of uh, the video and they're going this debate between Catherine Zarak versus unbiased sport the virgin birth is the prophecy fulfilled through Mary or Joseph so I'm right here at the one hour and 16 minute mark and I was a little bit further in, but I was checking out these uh, comments here. Uh, let me let me see. Son used to describe one who just depends on another. What was his fellow? Uh, I guess he's trying to follow a pupil. Got those words jumbled together. My opinion, uh, the Mary character was I don't know what this means. By another guy, she was infu infiltrated with and so this guy is saying that Mary stepped out on Joseph and lied to Joseph. This is why you don't speak to these people. You shouldn't be, no, no Israelite, not one Israelite should be on Sarnetta's platform because it's nothing but mass confusion. Joseph was a simp and possibly given a diary to take unto Mary and pregnant by, shake my hand, another dude. You see, you stay away from people like this. The scriptures say, uh, what does it say? After the first and second admi admonition, reject. You, we tell you, Israelite, you see, we see that you're buck, bucking up against, well, Allah is a God, and I'm Islamic, and my father, you know, he was, just, he was, uh, you know, he's a bodyguard for uh, Minister Louis Farrakhan, and you know, I don't eat pork. You get, you gotta leave it do. You might hit, hit him with something else. He don't. You gotta forget it in your mind. You gotta say this nigga ain't gonna get it. Why you think the Apostle Paul said what he said uh, in um, 1 Corinthians 14? I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I'm not going to go to it. Somebody could put it in the chat. Basically, if you find them ignorant, leave them ignorant. You know? This is only for the elect. It says, so Cap is saying that Jesus is genetically the actual son of Joseph. Laugh out loud. What can you say to this individual right here after he makes this statement? So Cap is saying that Jesus is genetically the actual son of Joseph. Laugh out loud. You got to walk away from that guy. You got to hope that this, a demon jump on him and make him get hungry so he can go get something to eat or walk down the street. You can't say nothing else to this guy. Easy man's official. Okay, this is Black Lion Supreme. Stick to the two different words uh, for virgin captain. You are messing it up. Now, even a guy, uh, unbiased sports, he does say that, uh, I don't know if it's right here, a little bit further back, that the, the word virgin means a woman that's either not pregnant, never had sex, or just recently had sex, got a bun in the oven, so to speak. Because the, the actual word there, and he said maiden, and maiden, I got to go back to that word, is the Greek word, which means a woman, whether she's never had sex, whether she's has a bun in the oven, whether she has a toddler, a two-year-old, and a, and a and a one-year-old and another bun in the oven, you, they're still called virgins. 
But the word in Matthew uh, 1, where it says virgin, the word there in the Greek is, uh, uh, not bathwala, but uh, the Greek word is uh, uh, parthenos, which is, a, which is uh which is a Greek word for a woman that never been touched. But the word that should be in there, I believe the word is gene. I'm not going to go f go to it, but I believe the word is gene. Matter of fact, let me go on to it. Let me see. Uh. All right, let me do this. Okay, let me see. Open up another blue letter. All right. Let me see what I'm going to put in there. I'll put in woman. Now, woman, I'm not going to click on it, but woman in the Old Testament in the Hebrew is Ayasha, which is a feminine form of Ayash. That's why you got to you got to go into the uh, the Hebrew and the Greek. Not that you got to speak it fluently. You know, certain English words. You uh, let's say you let's say you're uh, going to law school. You in law you use Latin terminology. Corporate delecti, um, stare decisis, um, stare decisis, instanter, um, what else? Um, amicus, amicus curiae. So if you study, if you if you're going to school, or college to learn how to be a lawyer. Those are really not English words. Those are legal legalese. So you got you got to have a the number one book is you got you got Black's Law Dictionary, and you have other law books. So they tell you you know when you're studying you need a Black's Law Dictionary just like you need a concordance in the Scriptures. You want to get a deeper understanding of a word in the King James. You got to go to the concordance or the Blue Letter. So this is what I want to do. Uh, let me go. I'm going to go to the New Testament. See, this is where um, Bishop Nathaniel falls off the horse. No pun intended. If you go into, if you call yourself breaking down precepts in the scriptures and you don't go into the root words, you're, you're not. You're not a scholar. You're not really deep. Okay, let me see. Uh, all right, let's try this word. If I'm not mistaken, it should be gene. Very like saying, uh, saying to you among them that are born of woman. Matthew 11, 11. And this is what it means, study to show that's how proof. Sometimes you got to go on the root words. Okay, I'm waiting for it to come pop on up. Strong's G, 1135, Gune. I, I was Gune. Right. Gune. I was right. Gune. So let's see what it means gene a woman of any age whether a virgin or married meaning whether she is an actual virgin or had sex Mar consummation of a marriage is when you have sex 
So you're not married until you consummate it. Or a widow, a wife of a betrothed woman. A betrothed woman is usually a virgin, right? But she's but once she has a child, she's pregnant, great with child, Mary. The word the word that should that should have been there in um uh Matthew's uh one is the word gene, not the word um parthenos. So the brother uh Bias Sports was correct on that when he said that. So like I said, the the, the uh Greek equivalent to the word virgin in uh Isaiah what is that, Isaiah seven and fourteen the word there in the in the New Testament should have been gone. Let me look up the root. See what the root says. A prolongation and middle voice uh, form of primary a primary verb or word. It doesn't, I don't, <coughs> I don't want that. So Mary would be a gone. Strong's G, 1135, gone. 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 Now, Apostle Ryan Lobb had used, if I'm not mistaken, he could come on in here and tell me if I'm wrong. He had used another word that should have been in there. It could be the same word. So I said, well, how did you come about that? And he said, there's this book. He led me to one book. I, in my mind, I said, that's too much stuff. You got to just go the word for woman in general. So anyway, give me a second here. Give me a second. Forgive me for that. Anyway, like I said, you cannot get deep a deep understanding of the scriptures 
if you don't go into these root words. So now, let's go right here to, uh, right here. Okay, let me come, come back over here. So Captain is saying that Jesus is genetically the actual son of Joseph. Laugh out loud. Can't deal with that guy no more. This indiv individual. Laugh out loud, shake my head. A black line. Uh, supreme. Stick to the two different words for virgin, captain. You are mess messing it up. But he likes, you know, <laughs> Captain Desiree likes to, to to go around that and them platforms, man. That, the Lord never said, have ye debates. He never told Ezekiel, eat this word and have ye debates. Um, let me see. Auntie. Auntie, I don't know. He really keep reading Holy Ghost as Holy Spirit. Uh, continue. Don't trust him. He can't read. Well, ghost just is is. Well, it goes back to the German Geist, which means spirit. So you could say spirit. You can read into it. That's why you got to qualify it. Okay, the word ghost. I like to say spirit, Holy Spirit, whatever. And this is Auntie. I don't know, and that's a good name for you because you don't know. Please show support. Uh, and, uh, Why lie? Thought he was just Tony Chiba. But it sh it shows Elizabeth Laid had visitors. BLS. It's all messed up. Tony Chiba. That's actually incredible cap losing so we're right here at the uh, once one hour 16 minutes so let's listen genesis 18 it says and he said i will certainly return this is abraham and sarah when the angel visits sarah it says and he said i will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life and lo sarah thy wife shall have a son and sarah heard him in the tent door which was behind him and sarah laughed said you mean after I am waxed old, I shall have pleasure, my Lord being old also. So now she knew how a baby was made. Now, it... All right. That's the end of them two rounds there, brother. We are moving into the question and answer period. All right. Uh, let me see what, what this um title look like. I got a poll up right now. They got unbiased. Uh, Captain is slick with it. Captain, stop ca ca uh, capping. The prophecy is the prophecy. It said the Savior will come from David's lineage. Mary is not. It's a waste of time talking to you. you look, it's, there's Israelites that's not going to get it. They're not of the elect. The ones that will get it are the elect. Why waste time in trying to wake wake somebody up that cannot be wake woken up? Fight back, Cap. I can't do this. When Elizabeth had visitors, where was her husband? He laid hold to her. Uh oh, you don't hear that. Uh, Easy Ben's official. My name. And been it and I ain't in it. Cap is moving the goalpost now. Too much personal opinions. Gabriel told the angel Gabriel told Elizabeth what was up to outline of biblical usage. They got different blue letter to to seize 
I wonder what word this person is getting this from. To seize. Now, technically, Joseph raped raped her. That's why he tried to hide her. Whether she w was with it or not, he had to honor the father, Heli, which is uh, Mary's father. So if you lay with a woman, if she wants to give it to you, well, back, well uh, wait a minute, wait a minute now. That is statutory. Back then they had statutory rape. Take take a note on that. Because if you get with your woman, she said, well, she wanted to get with me. Yeah, but you, but you you didn't receive my blessings. Yeah, there was a certain date that we had the ceremony. Then you can then you can consummate the marriage. If you if you go into her before that, you disrespected me. So that's statutory rape. Uh huh. What about that? Uh huh. It says outline of remember. The father says, okay, this this is gonna be your woman. In two months, we're gonna have the ceremony. If you hit hit it before the two months period is over, tell the time you got to get, you know, have the ceremony. If you hit it before that, that's that's grape, that's grape. Yeah, but she wanted it. Nope. Now, if you deal with a chick that's fifteen, and it, and the the law is she got to be eighteen, and she's fully developed and you know she she know what what's up. They don't want to hear that. To her, and the, and the court sees her as a stupid little dumb girl that's underage that don't know what's going on. But they can change their sex. That's why, that's why Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rukakwadash has to destroy this place by fire. It says, uh, outline the biblical usage to seize, uh, take one as prisoner. To conceive of a woman, metaphorically, of lust whose impulse pulses a man indulges. Yeah, because anytime you get with a woman, you get with a you choose a woman that you want to get with because you lust after her. There ain't nothing wrong with lusting as long as you don't lust after another man's wife. You can lust after your own wife. You can lust after a woman that's not been. That's what that's where great come from. Lust. When you go back to the Lord, Deuteronomy twenty two. And even Captain Captain Desaria can't get it. They said now that's now that's true. What is that? Uh Sharon Ladder. It's all BS. But let's play along for now. Laugh out loud. All of this literature is of fantasy stories. Must unsubstantial, most unsubstantial, un unsubstantiated. I'll let the rest go. This is nothing but a. This is a platform of con confusion. This is a platform of complete confusion. And Sarnetta doesn't know what's going on. And and if you notice, I said this before in other videos. Uh, anytime you watch Sarnetta's platform, the Bible or Christianity or Israel's or the Hebrews got to be in the conversation. Nobody, you know, that's what gives it the fire. Is the book, is, it, is the right book for our community, is the Bible or is it the, the 42 negative confessions? I wouldn't even waste my time. That's why I said you want, give me a second. Anyway, I'm back. <coughs> Let's listen. It's 47%.
Captain Tazariak, 53%. This is where y'all pick up some percentage in the question and answer round. Unbiased. Do you have any question for the captain? And I'm not going to put a time on y'all right now. I'm going to just let y'all go ahead and talk. Okay. You can so ask captain, captain a question, and then Captain come back, and he can ask you. So y'all go back and forth. Okay, so let me share my screen first. So hold on, Captain. Hold on. Yeah, brother. So now you you're right, Cat. You definitely teach me how to use uh, Streamyard. I'm a Zoom guy. So let me just share my screen. Share window. Okay. So Cat. Okay. So is it showing the uh, Romans one? Yes. Yes, I got it. Three, Romans one three. Okay, so Kat, um, brother, in the Greek, do you see the words? Do you see the word sperma here, brother? Yes or no? I don't, I don't read Greek, so I don't know which okay. one of those words. Yeah, if yeah, I had yeah. to take a guess, if I had okay, to take so. a guess, wait, wait, yeah, no, 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 no okay, I'm gonna go down. So you, you looked at this, right? Yeah, that's what that, that's what they put in there. No, I, I so got it. But oh, wait, 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 mm -hmm. hey, Kat, this is the root. This is the root. This is called inflected, my boy. So, which one you think is in the verse? Is it the root or the inflected word? Which one? What well, we could just all you got to do is just can you just click on the, on the actual no, 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 etymology no, 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 of the no. word? Look, I'm gonna I'm, I'm go up to the top. Look, okay. So, so these are the words. You, you got an A right here. You got an S right here. Right. So I'm gonna right. go to the actual scripture, brother. Right. Right here. So which which one do you see? The one I said or you said? I, I what I see is the one that you said. Okay. But now, now, can you click on, can we wait, click? Wait. The other thing, this guy refers to Captain as my boy. You, now, if you went to an actual debate among Edomites at Yale or Harvard, you, you ain't going to hear that shit. And the guy ain't going to be in a debate with his hat turned around backwards. This is why it's a complete waste of time. Click on the word. I, I, I will. I will. I'm going to help you out, though, Cap. Oh, so, no sweat. No sweat. Okay, so Captain, the way it works is mm -hmm. in the Greek and Hebrew, when you mm. click on a word, it's gonna always go to the root word, my boy. It, it won't go to it won't go to the inflected word, but we can see the inflected word is in the text receptor, not the root word. So inflection means things that's adding on to the word. So sperma, like I said, because I can read Greek, is not in the passage. It's actually sperma. You click on the word. Okay, right can here. We, can we look at right, right here? It's a, no, 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 no. Don't don't cheat the people now. Click on where we can read the outline okay. of biblical right. Right. usage. Look, look. Hey, 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 Captain, you're not listening. I, I'm it's listening to everything you say. Okay. If you want okay. it to so be wait, that wait, top wait, word, wait, wait. So, so, hold, on, hold on, hold on. If you're listening, what I'm saying is that people have eyes. They can see the word spermatos right here in the text receptors. What I'm saying to you is that when you go to the Hebrew or Greek, it's going to always show the root word. It will never show the inflected word, but the root word is not necessarily in the passage itself. So we're looking at the passage. This is Romans 1 and 3, petty 2, son. Okay. This is the word, actual word. Here. Um, matter of fact, let me do this. Okay, so this is the actual word in the text, right? It says sperma, right? You see the spelling in the Greek? Same sper sperm, uh, same spelling, except for tas, which is a uh, suffix. Like I did a lesson on torment, the word tormented, the root word is torment. Same word, whether it's tormented or torment. So let me click on this, G4690.
the word there is sperma. Bear me for a minute. It says here, Greek inflections of sperma, sperma. As a matter of fact, let me do this. Let me just do this. Yeah, modifies or changes, right? Mode, aspect, voice, person, or number of, or a noun, case, gender, or number rarely affecting the word's meaning or class. Like, for example, in the Hebrew, the word for man in the Hebrew is ayash. The word for, for woman in the Hebrew is ayasha. So the word ayasha is what? An inflection of the word man. If I say ayasha, you know, you know, you know that that means man in a in a in a, in a feminine uh, sense. Feminine man is a woman. So, like I said, inflections is adding to a certain word. It's still a root word. <laughs> so the scripture is is is. Uh, let me let me come over here. Come back over here. When he actually read the scripture in Romans one and three, the word there was seed, and the word there was uh, sperma sp uh, spermatos. What's the root word of sperm? It means seed. What do you say? Sperm, sperms. All right, let's listen to a little bit more. Son of two, two, genomenu, ek, spermatas David, kata, sak, sarka. Okay? So, we, so what I said was actually correct. The word sperma is not in the Greek at all, my boy. That's the root word. The word okay, spermatos is there. And spermatos. I get to respond now? Go ahead. Now, here's your problem. Okay, he so won't. But what does spermatos mean? Yeah, that's the root, sperma. That's the inflected spermatos. Uh, the seed. Don't click on. So, can I share my screen? You share. Can you stop and then I can share? All right, yeah, let me stop. Because I want to show. Good. I want to show what you're not. I want to show what you're not doing. Good. Right. <laughs> now he's focused on on spermatized and stuff right. like that. So I I went to the same blue letter Bible that he went through. Right. So nobody could say I was using something different. Romans one and three says. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. So now we have two principal words in here to let us know how Christ was made. You got the word seed. Da three words, rather. You got seed, you got David, and you got flesh. Right. His argument is that because I said. Let me go into the word flesh. Spermatos is not 
different from sperma. Last torment. Torment or tormented does not change the word. This is why I said it's a complete waste of time. It is seed, spermatos, and the flesh. Let's see what the word flesh is. Strong's G, 4561, Sarx, Sarx. Flesh, the source, flesh, right? The living body. The body of a man. The word progenitor means to push forward the seed. Pro meaning to go forward. And uh, gene means with the gene. The gene, another word for gene is sperm. So so what is Romans 1 and 3 saying? It's saying that that um, our Lord in the world, it only calls Jesus, his line goes, his ancestor, his, his ancestor one of his ancestors, is uh, David. David had a son. Uh, David's son had a son. David's son's son had a son. All down the line till you get to uh, Joseph. Joseph's line lineage goes directly back to David. So if he has sits down, lays down with Mary, that's the seed. Of, that's the seed of David. Now you might say they took David's sperm and they put it in a test tube and they held it for. A thousand years, and then they preserved it, and they put it in Mary, and still David's seed. Let me see. Let me come on back to this. Oh, I went to Google, right? I put in the word spermatose. The word means seed, semen, sperm. Sowing, you sow seed. Sparos, seed time. If you invest in the stock market, the money that you put in the stock market, whatever company that you uh, put into, you're looking, you're checking it every day to see if it grows. How does it grow? The money, if, if you put $1,000 in, if it goes up 10%, that's $1,100, and you hope that it grows more. Then you pull out certain money according to what you need. So I don't know what the big deal is, man. Spermatose, here it is right here, spermatose. Semen, sperm, seed. So now let me come back over here. Israelite school of unproven pseudo knowledge. See, Captain, he I guess he I guess he's uh he likes he he likes getting, you know, cursed out. Why would you go on this fucking platform? What do you think? Some of these guys I see it now, I'm an Israelite. Where can I sign up? You ain't gonna see that, man. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. These why would you waste your time? That's why I said, if you want me to deal with the grape thing, well, we want fine, you know, GMS, give me 50,000. Give me 50,000. 50 racks. 
sperma, which is the root. You want to go with that? That's fine. I ain't got no problem. But when you click on the definition of that word, you got seed, i.e. the grain or kernel which contains... Well, if you go... Uh, let me bring it up again. And I went into the word inf inflection. Spermato sperma spermatose takes you to the word sperma. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see if it's a different word here. Greek concordance. Spermatose. It's, so the word spermatose, sperma or spermatose means seed. All right, let's come back over here. Listen to a little bit more. Saying within itself the germ of future plants. We know it's not talking about plants. No seed, i.e. E. residue or few survivors reserved as the germ. We know it's not talking about that. Then we got semen viral, the product of this semen, seed, children, offspring, oh, progeny. It agrees with me. I'm going to read it again. The product of this the semen. Product. You know what product means, bro? The cake, cake, cake is a product of eggs, oil, and batter, uh, the, the uh, bacon, bacon powder. So you can't the, remove, but you can't remove the ingredients out of what you do to make the cake. Right, right, so I, to I, make a child, you can't remove that, the seed that, or where the seed. That, Listen, that. this the only way semen it says product of this semen. Right, right. Don't it's, just say product. No, no, no. Hey, cat, cat. Look, look, look. We're defining the word seed. It says seed is the product. So we got children, offspring, progeny. So when you look at the word seed, it's going to why, be why you why you skip why you skip no, semen. No, no. Because we I got the, product of this semen. Right, right. It, it, cat, cat, semen listen. is sperm, right? Yes or no? Of course, of course. Cat, listen okay, so if this is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. The, pro, the product. <laughs> so that means it's not semen. It's the product of semen. This is I, I, hey, I I guess I guess uh I guess Captain he likes doing this. He likes doing this shit. Cause ain't you ain't accomplishing a goddamn thing. Look at your audience, man. It says Cap is a sore loser. Why people still challenging Cap on this a topic? He's undefeated. My man is an expert on the subject. So how so how is a child made? Right? You got that? So we're dealing with the offspring, the progeny of children. So we're dealing with a virgin birth. And you say the word so, seed. So, so still you're saying that about, you saying you saying that that seed yeah. is not talking about seed. Excuse me, that semen is not talking about seed, children, offspring, progeny, family, tribe, prosterity. It's not talking about that. What I'm telling you is that the word spermatize. It no, goes to once children, again. offspring, mm -hmm. progeny it has nothing to do with semen. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my God, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. This is madness. This is madness. It says, how do y'all got Captain winning this debate? Is it based on his ability or liability? Because nothing he's saying is biblical. Why would you talk? Why would you talk to people that you know are not potentially of the elect? Why would you talk to people that you know why would you go around a bunch of uh, alphabet people to convince them that they shouldn't do that? How many of them do you think they're going to say, yep, you're right, I'm a father? Come on, man. This is not, the, yeah, how about Shemmy Al Shai is not with this crap, this nonsense? Why? Okay, the only that we, we just agree that A and B do not match that definition. So now we're at the second part of the definition. Right. It starts off the product of this semen. So now the product of this semen is seed, children. The product of a semen is a child. Product of semen or spirit cap just caught a bad blood. Offspring, progeny, family, tribe, posterity. 
That's yeah. the product can't, can't. of semen. When yeah. when you put semen, you can't have a child unless you have a semen. So it starts with the semen. It starts with the woman's, the ovaries, the eggs, you know, the inside of a, the womb. It speaks of a more than what all teachers majority of the time simple Atlant Atlantis uh, discard that book and go to a comic book for a better translation when you put semen in a woman you get seed cat, children your cat, 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 mm, your argue, your argument horrible, is yo. when you're looking at spermatized what is it uh, that's not my uh, argument. No, no, no. That's not that's, my... that's my argument. My argument is because we're looking at the text of receptors. When you see the word spermatize, it's not pointing to, it's not saying of uh, David's sperm. It's saying. Wait a minute. Spermatize. Spermatize. You see the, the, the Greek? Tos. Sperma. Seed. There it is. Look, look. Sperma. Greek meaning. Uh, let me see. And it takes it. The word sp sperma means to seed. It doesn't change. It doesn't change the word. It doesn't change what it is. Like a, a, you have a woman, then you have a fat woman. You have a skinny woman. It's, it doesn't change the fact that, th that that that's a woman. Listen to a little bit more. Hey, David, offspring, progeny. Children, that's my argument, my boy. I'm not so the worst. Thank you. Then he's calling him my boy. That's disrespectful. Call a cat and my boy. See if 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 uh, Captain Zarek was part of GMS, he wouldn't he wouldn't be doing it. Cause he's, no, Locke, you don't do that. No, 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 no. Can I do this thing with Sa uh, Sa No, you're not to stick be with Sarnetta. Period. Whoa, whoa, or yo, Cap is is so in denial. You wait, 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 wait. You still saying David offspring children? So you right. still saying it has to be of David, right? Right, right. So I'm saying okay, right. no, no problem. So yes. does it have? It has to be of David yes. according to the flesh. Yes. Okay. So thank you. So you just made my point because when you go to flesh, which is the other word there, yeah, it said it's flesh, flesh of the living body, which covers the bones, the body of a man, which right. goes right back to the subject of this debate is the prophecy through Joseph and Mary. You eliminate Joseph. No, no, no. Show right, me right, 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 right. Right. So show it. me. No problem. So show it. me. Got show it. me. Let me stop sharing my screen. I apologize. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. So Thank show you. me. So now. We know that the angel said Joseph is from the house of David. Uh -huh. So we just read Romans 1 and 3, which you agreed that it has to be the son of David sure, according sure. to the flesh. Sure. Show me Mary is from the house of David. Gotcha. Mary is from the house of David in Luke 3. So that's something that the captain don't know. Go to Luke chapter 3. It mentions the, 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 lineage, the lineage of uh, Mary's father, Heli. Matthew's one goes into the lineage uh, of Joseph going back to David, his ancestor, and Luke three is a is the uh, lineage of uh, Heli, the father of Mary. In my screen. Gotcha. Okay. So. Here it is. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Mary is not from the tribe of Judah, or from House of David. Okay, then Luke, Luke, tear out Luke, the whole chap, Luke chapter, the whole book of Luke. I'm gonna go to the oldest translation of the Bible. This is the Syriac Sinaiticus. Okay, this is the Gospel of Luke chapter one. Right. So let's go down. Let's go down to verse. Matter of fact, where are we here? Verse here. It says, verse 2, this is the Syriac, right? it says, a translation of the four Gospels from the Syriac Sinaiticus. because this is the oldest translation of the Bible, the oldest, nothing comes before this. Okay, 
Verse 2. And it says, Then it came to pass in those days, August, the Caesar commanded that all the land should be enrolled. And this was the first enrollment, governor of Syria. And every man also from went that he might be enrolled there. And Joseph also, Joseph from Nazareth, a city of Na Galilee, of to, to Ju Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. He and Mary, is his wife, being great with child, that there they might be enrolled because they were both, they were both of the house of David. That's a body bag. That's a good one because the, he was he was correct. He was he was correct. They were both of the house of David, and uh, Captain Cesarek should should have known that. But Luke three actually goes into it. That's not a body bag. That's a body uh, bag. Because, can you can you produce the source text for what you just brought out? I just told you this. Okay. Let me see if that's in the King James. And go to Luke one. Then I'm gonna close it. Luke one. Put in David. Okay, to a virgin spouse of a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and uh, and the virgin name was Mary. Okay, you had to go to that that old the oldest uh, translation, blah blah blah. All you had to do was go to um, uh, Luke uh, chapter three, and in Luke chapter three it tells you that her line goes. Well, her father's line, because the seed is based upon the man. They carry on the seed. All right, let's come on back. Let me go back. My screen again. No, we don't. If you were sharing your screen, we didn't see your screen. Okay. Well, I, I did the window thing. <laughs> all right. So, Sa, can you see, can you see my screen? No, we can't see it yet. We can't see it at all. Can you see my screen? Oh, now we see it. Okay. And what? And when did this come out? Somebody put down Luke three twenty three. Good, good. You know something? Heli, Mary's father. Okay. So this is. And Heli was a, of the tribe of Judah, direct direct descendant of. Uh, King David. This, is, late, this is this is uh, mid fourth century, uh, mid fourth century. This is the first okay. translated Bible outside of the Greek. Okay, and you see right here. You see how you just switched up. Now it's the first translated outside of the Greek. Right. You can't well, say well, it. you just switched up. No, 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 no. Because they, we they, know that but when yeah. the first century was over, the Bible was translated in the Greek already. Now no, 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 Path to Yahweh. The sperm needs an egg to make life, not her sperm. Right, her sperm is, is she has a sperm because the man put a sperm in the in that woman. Uh, Genesis three, die seeds against her seed. Where did the seed of Eve come from? Adam. Both evil and good came out of that seed, Adam's seed. No cap. Jacob the Bible, no the Bible, no the problem. New Testament no is originally in the Greek, my boy. Yeah, you talking right? About? That's what I'm saying. And it was true. the original is in the Greek, my boy. This is why you, this is why you, you ninjas do not get invited to yell. They ain't gonna invite you to yell a Harvard. They ain't gonna invite you like that. They, cause they'll be afraid that a shootout, shootout might break up, man. Break out. Translated in the first century, you said that this no, 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 no. no, no. It was trans. What, what, what are we talking about here? If the Bible is originally written in Greek, what, what, hey, wait, wait, hold on, Captain, hold on. If the Bible is originally written in Greek, that means it's not translated. That's the language is in. Right. So, right. Bible is not originally written in Greek. Well, if you could say bringing it all together, got the various letters 
When you go to the old, I'm going to close on this, man. This is pointless. You go to the New Testament, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were Hebrews. They didn't speak Greek. Uh, Paul's letters were mostly in Greek because he was speaking to Israelites that spoke Greek, but he also spoke Hebrew. That's in the scriptures. Uh, a lot of the other books, John, Revelation was written in Hebrew. John knew a little bit of Greek because he said in the Abaddon and the uh, was it uh, Revelation 9 in the Greek it meant this and in, in the Hebrew it meant that Armageddon in the Hebrew okay this is a good one DC I never knew Cap had so many haters from Sarnetta's audience he he whooping this dude and y'all trying to face save face listen to a little bit more of this madness and then I'm going to close right. I'm sorry I even went into okay, this so wait wait wait, so, wait I'm, I'm making my point my point is the when it was translated out from the Greek it went to the Syriac that's the first translation mm -hmm. of the Greek gotcha so we're looking gotcha. at the Syriac Sinaiticus mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. we're looking at oh yeah they say, uh, the the um, what is this the Septuagint and Job it speaks about uh, Job being an Edomite. It's, it's not 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 that written in the book of Syriac. Where it says that book. they both, because they were both mm -hmm. of the house of David. Okay, and that's your, that, that's your cut, right? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to respond. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen, right? Let me select the window. No, entire screen. Let me share. Let me make sure I share the right screen. Uh, it's this one. You don't see nothing on there yet. Just let me bring this over. Hold on a second. I'm going to show what I'm using as my proof text. I'm using two proof texts from the early church fathers. Oh, you say Julius oh, Afric. I'm going to go there too. Because you, you say you say the same thing. <laughs> oh my God. I'm using my two. I'm using my two proof texts he, from he, the church right. fathers. The the church father is going to be Julius Africanus. Eusebius is going to back up. What'd you say? Eusebius, right? Go ahead. And Eusebius is going to back up what Julius Africanus brings out. What Julius Africanus wrote was the epistle to the Aristotes, the epistle to the Aristotes, right? So now, let's see. Because again, both of those lineages in. It's a quick yes or no before I read this. In both lineages that they attribute to Jesus Christ, who is the father? I mean, excuse me, who is the who does it start off with? Does it start with well, Matthew ends with Joseph and then Luke begins with Joseph. We agree or disagree? We agree. We agree, right? There's no mention of Mary, right? Not not in Luke, but Matthew, yes. Well, as the, as the wife, like other women are mentioned in Matthew's the first chapter, but as far as those lineages, both of them are Josephs. No, so no, now no. let's see what the church fathers no, did yeah, because wait, it's wait, weird. Wait, you ask me a question, I, I gotta object. I'll let you answer. No, good. No, no, no. You, but you asked me a question, but you asked me. I gave an answer. You, you overread it. So, so what I'm saying is, in Luke, you would be correct. Mary's name not there, but in Matthew, Mary is listed as the mother of Jesus. The mother of Jesus. That's but the lineages are Josephs. Yeah, but. Matthew deals with generations. He, 40, wait, wait, the cap. I'm not just. I don't disagree with the generations. Wait, wait, wait. So you got, you got to respond correctly. So Matthew don't deal with a lineage. It, it talks about 42 generations, and Mary is listed as a generational parent of Jesus. Not. I don't Joseph. disagree. I don't. I don't disagree that Mary not is Joseph. not a parent. The Joseph wait. is not listed as a generational parent of Jesus in Matthew's one. Yes, he is. Sh show us. Show us. Okay, so before I show that, I'm gonna just slide yeah. this over. I'm gonna just slide this over. Yeah. And it says, "This is I don't know what you said yeah for." Joseph. This is Matthew one, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband no, no, of no. Mary. Your screen, your screen, not sharing. Oh wait, hold on, let me stop the show. So now it says, "And Jacob begat Joseph." Make it bigger. Make it bigger. Make it bigger, Captain. Make it bigger. I don't know if it's gonna get bigger. Control plus. You can do control. Oh no, it's good. It's good. No, look, that that's as big as it can. No, it's, be it's, right good. it's good. It's good. It's right. good. If everybody, if everybody maximizes the screen, you can see. Pause, Captain. Pause. Oh my bad, sir. Right, go ahead, go ahead, Captain. 
I can, and Jacob and Jack, 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 Cameron would have killed you right now. Cam and Mason. Yeah, they would have. Yeah, they would have. Yeah, they would have. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. That's so, Joseph, and that's Mary. But where did Just, you say Joseph is the father of Christ? I, I, I missed that part. That well, no problem. I'm glad you said that. So when yeah. you go up here. When right. you go up here, it says, and Salmon begat Boaz of Rakab, and Boaz begat Obed of Ruth. So as you can see, this is generational. This, this is going is, nowhere, man. This I'm is not, like I'm out of here, the man. royal lineage. Oh, boy. 